Ice Creams in Quarkland Electromagnetism and Elementary Particles by Miro Maitre I want you to look really closely at your hand. How small can you see? Can you see the tiny ridges of your fingerprint going up and down like valleys and mountains? Can you see itsy bitsy hairs poking up from your skin? Can you see a little speck of dirt from when you were last playing outside? Well, no matter how small you can see, there are smaller things. Imagine you have a magical magnifying glass. This magnifying glass is special because you can zoom in as much as you want. If you were to point it at the stars, they would seem as if they were right next to you. Now, look at your hand through it again. Suddenly, you can see huge bacteria roaming the valleys and mountains of your fingerprint. But we can go even smaller, zooming in and in and in until we reach the atom. Atoms are so, so small that even with the best microscope, a fancy magnifying glass, you can't see them. They are like little tiny planets and they make up everything that exists. Even atoms though, are made out of even tinier things. These things are called fermions. Fermions are tinier than microscopic. Fermions come in two kinds, quarks and leptons. They are the smallest things that we know of. They are so small that we can't even measure their size. To understand how fermions work, Let's pretend we have a very special machine to make us so, so tiny. And let's pretend that quarks are ice creams. Very tiny ice creams in this very tiny place. And since all this shrinking has made us very hungry, let's go to a quark ice cream shop and see what flavours they have. Now the first thing to decide in an ice cream shop is whether you want a big, heavy ice cream or a light, fluffy one. If you want a big, heavy ice cream, you can choose two kinds. A sweet top quark or a tangy bottom quark. Or perhaps you prefer a light, fluffy ice cream. In that case, you'll need to choose between a sweet up quark or a tangy down quark. These are the most popular ice creams. There are more of them than any other flavours in the universe. But maybe you're not sure if you're hungry or not. You'd like a medium ice cream. You get to choose between a sweet charm quark or a tangy strange quark. Now, if you suddenly decided that you weren't hungry after all and instead smooshed some of those ice cream flavours together, you would discover that putting quarks together just gives you bigger particles. Quarks make protons and neutrons, which then form atoms, which then form molecules, which then form cells, which then form organs, which then form you. Everything is made of quarks. Now don't forget there is another kind of fermion too. They're called leptons. There are two kinds of leptons, electrons and neutrinos. Electrons are like tiny meteors orbiting a tiny planet made out of quarks. Like a bee that's decided it likes your ice cream. They zip around very quickly, so fast they look like they are teleporting. Neutrinos are extremely light particles that can pass through other particles. They're a bit like invisible superheroes. This makes them very, very difficult to find. In fact, to detect on one of them, like any good evil villain, we need to place a large tank of water deep underground with sensors all around it. When one of the many neutrinos passes through and bumps into another particle by accident, it reveals itself to us. The amazing thing is, every moment, 100 trillion neutrinos are passing through your body. Most of them are from the sun, but over a million come directly from the Big Bang. How crazy is it that something that has been traveling quite literally since the start of time just so happens to pass through you? Now it may sound to you that fermions are pretty amazing things. Ice creams, 
tiny meteors and invisible superheroes. But there's a tiny, tiny problem. Fermions can't exist without help from a little thing called bosons. Bosons are extraordinary because they give special superpowers to all the fermions, which allows them to interact with each other. The way it works is a bit like trading marbles in the schoolyard. The fermions trade boson with each other, which gives them different new superpowers. But what are these special abilities? The first marble is called a photon, with the power of electromagnetism. This marble gives the fermion an amazing superpower, a force field. This allows them to pull other fermions closer to them or to push them away. This is how the magnets on your fridge work. All the fermions inside the magnet are using their superpower to pull themselves toward the fermions in the fridge. A second marble is called the gluon and its power is strong force. Like the name suggests, it lets the fermions stick together. It gives the fermion an unbreakable lasso called a flux tube that it can throw around another fermion. After it has been caught, the fermions are stuck together forever. That is, unless someone or something manages to destroy the lasso. Then the lasso releases all its energy, giving off a huge explosion. Two more marbles, W boson and Z boson, have the power of weak force. This power lets a fermion shapeshift into another kind of fermion. Also, something funny happens when the power of weak force is used. It releases energy in the form of electrons and neutrinos. This is how the sun creates its energy. The pressure in the centre of the sun turns fermions into different kinds, releasing all the light and energy that we get down here on Earth. The last boson is the most mysterious. Scientists haven't detected it yet, but it is highly thought that it exists. This marvel is called the Graviton, and it gives the superpower of gravity. Everything in the universe is attracted to each other thanks to it. Just like how when you throw a ball, it falls down, the Earth pulls objects down with its gravity. Gravity means that you and every other object that exists is being pulled together at every instant. Without gravity, there would be nothing holding everybody down and everyone would float into the air. There is one last thing to know about fermions. On their own, fermions don't have any mass. Mass is basically how hard it is to push something. For example, pushing a toy car along the ground isn't too hard because it has a relatively small mass. But pushing a heavy rock along the ground is a lot harder since it has a lot more mass. So fermions need something to give them mass because things need mass to exist. This thing is called the Higgs field. This field is pretty cool since the field is what gives everything mass. You can think of it like honey. It trickles through the universe getting stuck on everything. The more that sticks to a thing, the more mass it has. Now it's time to get back in that machine and turn your, into your giant self once again. Understanding the smallest things in the universe helps us understand how things work and what is happening right beneath our noses. But there is still so much about our world that we don't know. For example, why do these special particles exist at all? Is there anything smaller than fermions and bosons? Hopefully, one day, scientists will find the answer to these questions. And maybe it will even be you. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.